All right, welcome back everyone. Um, this is part 14 of our series. Um, in today's episode, we're going to be doing quite a few things. Um, the first thing uh, we're going to do is we're gonna add a notification system, which would be pretty neat. Um, and to do that, the first thing we have to do is create a new node. Um, this will be a canvas layer. So the original node will be canvas layer. Um, it's very important that it is a canvas layer um, because we are going to be showing this on top of the player, essentially on top of our, our stuff already that we already have. So we're going to make a label as the background, theme override, style, flat box, we're going to make it white, we're going to border radius, make it all 15, flatten it out. And I'm going to go into global because this is a global thing that we're going to want. Notification. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a global notification, meaning we call it whenever we want, which would be pretty neat. So we'll add a label as well. We'll pop it in there. We'll do center, center, and auto wrap. So we'll have a bunch of words. We're going to go to theme override, make it black. And let's make it slightly smaller. So now let's actually mess with the label, not the panel. So we'll go to panel or the label, sorry. Make it 0 0.75, 0 0.75. Make it big again. Or make it fit essentially. And what we're going to do in our panel, this is going to be pretty fun, is we are going to be editing the size of our panel. So what this means is, I ah, will just cut it out and I'll explain it. So we're going to make a process function and we're going to get self dot um, rectangle size dot x equals get node the label dot rectangle size dot x. And then we're going to add 16 pixels. We're going to copy paste this. I'm going to do the y axis and that should be it. So what this is going to do is it's going to allow us to grow the panel depending on the size of our text. So if I launch this scene, here we go. Here's our text and it fits or it seems to fit. However, if I start doing this, it kind of goes out of range, right? However, it didn't because the panel is going to expand depending on the size of the text. So um, I'm actually going to make this a bit smaller. I'm going to make it 0 0.6, 0 0.6, and then I'm going to erase this. I'm going to make sure the original, make sure that the original is the size that we want. So the original, like smallest, Thing that we have is the size that we want essentially. I'm going to also take this panel, I'm going to modulate it just to make it slightly invisible. And that's it. That's our notification. I'm going to set it to notification. And this is our notification essentially. So to use this though, we're going to go into our utils and in our utils, we're going to have a constant um, notif equals Reload, and we're going to load our notification, which is actually right there. And now we're going to make a function called notification, and it's going to pass through a text, and this text is going to be a string, right? So in this text, what we'll do is we're going to variable notification one dot notif instance, and then we're going to add, no, before we add it, actually we'll add it. So we'll add one. However, before we add it, what we want to do is we actually want to get it and add the label. So the label, um, which we'll do by get node label dot text equals text. And that's it. Um, what we can do to avoid errors is we can actually convert this to a text as well, or convert it to a string, sorry. And then what we'll do is we'll yield for three seconds. And the way we do that is we're going to get tree dot get create or just create timer. And then we're going to set it to three seconds. And then that is it. And we'll just check for timeout and that's it. So that'll create a timer with our tree and it'll Create it through three seconds. It'll yield the code for three seconds and then continue. So then it'll do 
it'll we'll get that notification and we'll queue free. All right, so this should work. So if I go into my world and I go into Dirt Container, for example, I call utils, do notification, hi. We'll launch the game, play, and we get an error because this game hates me. We'll save and load, whatever, play, and we get the notification, hi, and it should disappear after three seconds. Awesome. Um, next thing we're going to do is, all right, we'll close our notification. We don't really want to do anything in there. Or actually, what we can do is adjust the placement of our thing. One thing I'll do is I'm going to make this a bit bigger. Let's play one more time, just see where it is. I'm actually wondering why the size of it is so big. That is quite strange. Um, we'll do center, center, text. Um, I'm not sure why it's like that, but that's okay. Um, we'll play one more time. And okay, this is kind of centered, so it's good enough. Um, let's bring it a bit more to the left, actually. All right, and that's fine. Um, now let's go to our plot of dirt. And what we'll do is we're going to change the plot of dirt a little bit. So the first thing we're going to actually do is go into our auto load, um, not auto load, sorry, input map. And we're going to go down to spawn. Here we go. And we're going to add a physical key called Z. And in here, we're going to go to our dirt. We're going to add body entered. And then we're going to go back and body exited. All right. Oh, where is it? Oh, we didn't connect it. There we go. Body exited. All right. And as you might be able to remember, we're going to pass through, or we're going to check if our player is the body. So to do that, we do if body dot name equals player. Then we'll do something. So we'll pass for now. Um, and we're going to go up here. What we're going to do is we'll actually, we'll completely remove this. So we're going to disconnect this node and we're going to rename this function to spawn. And we're going to create a new function called function. Um, we'll have process, we're going to need process. And in this process, we're going to do get input. And we're going to need another function, which is the get input. And in this get input, we're going to check for input. So if input dot is action, we'll do just pressed spawn. And then we spawn, all right? Um, however, what we want to do is, what is this? Uh, we don't want this anymore. Uh, okay, so we're going to have to match each line by just making them go back all by one. Here we go. No errors. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to want to check if our player is still inside or is inside the piece of dirt. So to do that, we'll do variable, um, what did I name it? Can plant equals true. No, no, false. By default, it wants to do false. And then what we'll do is in the input, before we plant anything, we're just going to check if the input is equal to true or not. And if it is true, then we'll spawn, right? And to make it true, we'll just go in here and say it's true. And then we'll just copy paste this, take that, make it equal to false. All right, so what's happening is um, our body, the player enters the piece of dirt and we're going to say, okay, we can plant something now. Okay, so we'll go in here, we check if we click spawn or not. If we do and we can plant, then we spawn. And yeah, and then we spawn our, pl our plant. Um, however, if we exit the piece of dirt, then we can no longer plant it, right? Um, one more thing I think I wanted to do. No, let's just test it actually. There's our notification. So now I can plant. Um, there's two things I want to do. The first thing is I'm going to make the um, collision a little bit smaller. So that way we can't plant two things at a time, right? So in our world, I'm going to go to our player. I'm going to go to our collision. And we're going to make our collision here a bit smaller as well. So now I can't go over two pieces two plots of dirt at the same time. Okay, I'm gonna to have to remove that notification. It's a bit annoying. I'll control S, control X. Um, but now I can plant by clicking Z and go over them. And of course, to harvest, I can just go over them and do that.
and we'll keep the harvesting the same. Um, if you want to change, now you know how. Um, another end thing is you can also click still. So I'm not clicking Z, I'm clicking my mouse. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's go into notification. Nope, not notification. In our plot of dirt, what we'll do is in body entered, we'll send a notification saying press Z to plant. And then in notification, let's, I think I know why. Let's make this eight and let's play. Now, if I go on top of a piece of dirt, it'll give me this notification. Okay, I'm still not sure why it's doing that. Let's remove this completely and make it equal. Let's see what happens then. Okay, it's a bit smaller, but that's strange. I'm not sure why it's doing that. All right, um, either way, we'll go to plot of dirt. And in our notification, no, we're not gonna edit this. In our actual notification, we what we wanna do is, obviously you might be able to tell this, there's a problem, right? If I go here, and I keep going over them, it keeps sending me notification, right? It'll be nonstop forever. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is check if that notification exists, right? Um, so what we can do, so let me pull out my reference here, is, um, well, let me double check. Mm -hmm. Let me just check where we're putting it. It should be in here, in our remote. We go here, go back to our remote, minimize the world. It should be adding it in our utils. Okay, awesome. So in our utils, the only time we'll ever have a child is if it's the notification. So what we can do anytime we add a notification is we're going to check if there's one that exists already. So if um, get, child count is equal to one, I will do not equal to one. Yeah, sure, we'll do not equal to one. Um, or, you know what, we'll just make it equal to zero. So we'll check if it's zero. So only add it if it's equal to zero. So now if we go play, uh, the game will still error. I'll check out why that's happening later. We'll play one more time, save and play. Now it should only add it if I'm, yeah. So there you go. You saw that little buzz where it, it, what it, so because I'm still going on top of them, it won't add it until the last one disappeared, essentially. Another thing you could do, um, this is a notification system. So this would work meaning like, in any case, like if I ate it, or like, let's say I click it and I eat it, it'll say you ate an apple or something, right? So you can use this however you want, but this is the way I use notifications in some of my games. Um, it's a built, it's, we built this notification essentially. Um, I think, okay, yeah, I know why it's actually not, it's bugging. Okay, let me, yeah, okay, um, I'm quite sure. The reason why it was bugging out is because the rectangle size, let's do plus eight again. All right, let's test one more time and this should work. Yeah, okay, awesome. All right, I will see you guys next time.